All right, so you want to travel to Africa, but you don't know which countries to travel to first. A big part of the decision is going to be the languages. So I'm going to go over which countries in Africa speak English, French, Portuguese, and Spanish. Let's get it. All right, my name is Denaris. Welcome to another video. If this is your first time and you want to follow the journey throughout Africa and the diaspora as I cover the history, the culture, things to do, and travel tips of the motherland, then make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so you don't miss a thing. Now, in Africa, there are over 1,500 languages spoken, but most people are bilingual. They speak their traditional languages and they also speak a foreign language. Now I'm going to go over the countries in Africa that speak English first. Now when it comes to English speaking countries, you've got Botswana, the Gambia, Ghana, Kenya, Lesotho, Liberia, Malawi, Namibia, Nigeria, Sierra Leone, South Africa, South Sudan, Sudan, Tanzania, Uganda, Zambia, Zimbabwe, and Swaziland. And then you also have countries like Cameroon, Rwanda, Mauritania, Mauritius, and the Seychelles that speak both English and French. Okay, now next are the countries that speak French. Now French is something that I personally, I need to learn, and I do suggest if there's anyone out there that you wanna learn a different language, and at the same time you wanna to travel to Africa and really enjoy your experience, I do suggest that you learn French, as it will enhance your experience in the following countries, and they are Benin, Burkina Faso, Burundi, Central African Republic, Democratic Republic of the Congo, Gabon, Guinea, Cote d'Ivoire, Madagascar, Mali, Niger, Republic of the Congo, Senegal, Togo, with countries like Cameroon, Rwanda, Mauritania, Mauritius, and Seychelles speaking both French and English. And then you have countries like Chad, Djibouti, Comoros that speak both French and Arabic. Now as far as Portuguese speaking countries, there are only five of them and they are Angola, Cape Verde, Guinea-Bissau, Mozambique, and Sao Tome and Principe. Now when it comes to Spanish speaking countries, there are only one and that's Equatorial Guinea. Meanwhile, Ethiopia speaks Amharic as they were never colonized, so they do not officially speak a foreign language. Now, as far as Arabic, you have countries like Algeria, Egypt, Eritrea, Libya, and Morocco, and Somalia that speak Arabic. Now, as far as the local languages go, in general, many countries in Africa have dozens and dozens of different languages. I always suggest getting cool with one of the locals who can talk to people in their local language. By doing this, not only will it enhance your experience as people will invite you to places and events, but you can also get everything for a low, low price. I'm talking taxis, food, clothes, gifts, you name it. All you have to do is not say anything and let the locals do all the talking. The more you go to the rural areas, the less you'll find people that speak those foreign languages that I mentioned earlier. It does help if you do learn just a few sentences in some of the local languages. You know, in many of these countries, there are one or two specific languages that are spoken by a large percentage of the population. So you can maybe learn a few sentences in those languages. Okay, now I hope this video helps someone out there plan their next trip home. If you like this video, then please remember to give it a thumbs up and share it with all your friends and your kin folk. And be sure to subscribe to the channel and tell your friends and family to subscribe as well. And let me know which countries in Africa you guys plan on traveling to next in the comment section. And also if you're in the same boat as myself where you want to learn more languages in order to enjoy your experience in Africa, then please comment below as well. All right, I'll holler at you guys later.